Salt. Because of the contentious nature of the subject, I do the best I can to ensure that everything said on the Salt Guru videos is backed up by scientific evidence and often provide the data or the links to support that information. I don't tell anyone what to eat or what not to eat because I make the presumption that consumers armed with legitimate information are smart enough to make their own choices. The problem is that there is a lot of misinformation or what I call myth information out there and I do my very best to try and dispel it. A case in point, our products referred to as organic sea salts claiming to be healthier for you than all other salts. As you may know, we have had many nice things to say about sea salts on the Salt Guru videos, but we always stick to the evidence. Sea salts provide a great variety of different tastes, textures and colors due to the minerals that remain after harvesting. The amount and composition of these minerals will vary from product to product, but two issues must be understood. There is no natural sea salt that contains a sufficient amount of iodine equivalent to that found in iodized salt. That is why some companies iodize their sea salt and are permitted to make that label claim. The second issue refers to the health impact. There is no reproducible peer-reviewed medical evidence to support the claim that sea salt is healthier than any other salt. The claim for organic sea salt is strange. Salt is sodium chloride, the quintessential inorganic material. Traditionally, the scientific understanding of organic refers to living organisms and their carbon compounds. More recently, however, the marketing term organic refers to foods produced with the use of fertilizers made of plant or animal materials instead of chemically formulated fertilizers. Now I don't see how that quite relates to sea salts. There is of course an abundance of living and waste organic material in seawater, but it is unlikely that this is what is being referred to. And there are no studies to demonstrate that organic compounds of salt contribute to nutrition or health in any way. So the only thing I conclude is that organic salts may not contain the approved additives used in other salts to allow them to flow freely out of a salt shaker. Of course, they may also refer to the iodine that's added to iodized salt because it's critical to proper mental health development and cognition in children, as well as the reduction of goiter. The only reasons why iodine is added to salt so go ahead and enjoy the wide variety of sea salts available. This will bring new tastes, textures and colors to your foods. But don't be carried away by myth information that is totally unsupported by science.